Man, I like going out to cafes for breakfast. I enjoy it. And, um, but I'm a bit of a prickly customer. Whenever I walk in, uh, never in a good mood, a bit hungover, to be fair. <laughs> the person working there, they're always like, so how's your day been so far? <laughs> when did that become the standard greeting, you know? I was quite happy with, how are you? Well, thank you. Now it's, so how's your day been so far? I don't know, I woke up, I did a disappointing shit, and then I came here, what do you want me to say? <laughs> I haven't had a day yet. This is breakfast, by the way. <laughs> so how's your day been so far? It's been moving at one hour per hour towards tomorrow like every other fucking day. <laughs> Are you going to ring me at the end of the day to see how it's rounded out? <laughs> then I order my latte, and I'm a barista's best friend. I'm a one-word order. Latte! That's it. One word, latte. But they always ask other unnecessary questions, you know. Do you want cow's milk in that, man? Do you want some cow's milk? Do you know what cow's milk is called? Milk! <laughs> it's the original. It gets to hold the title. It just gets to be milk. <laughs> All the others are spin-offs or side projects. It's not soybean milk anyway. It's soybean juice or soybean jizz or soybean serum. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but milk just gets to be milk. And you know what the Italian word for milk is? Latte! I'd already said it. <laughs> it was hiding in my order in another language. <laughs> Do you want some sugar in that, man? No, no, I don't want any sugar because the absence of me asking for it means none. <laughs> Can we all agree on that now? If you don't ask for it, it means none. Look, this is me ordering no sugar. Just did it. There you go. <laughs> Just did it again. <laughs> it's an unnecessary extra. You have to request it, you know. You don't ask for a hamburger and they say, do you want a banana on top of that? <laughs> no, I don't want a banana because I know how to enjoy my hamburgers. <laughs> do you want some smashed avocado? Hey, bit of smashed av? When did we start abusing our avocados? When did that start? 2008, 2009, we've got to belt the shit out of our breakfast before we can enjoy it. It's not smashed avocado anyway, it's mashed avocado. For it to be smashed avocado, it would have to be scraped off all four walls after jumping on it. That'd be a smashed avocado. <laughs> You're wasting room on your blackboard. You've got an S there that doesn't need to be there. <laughs> You could just put mashed avocado. Actually, you could just put avocado on toast. I'll presume it's not a whole avocado sitting on a piece of bread. I'm quite bright like that. I went to uni, you know. I've had that. I've had that before. I went to a little cafe that I shouldn't mention called Top Paddock. It's in Melbourne. And cafe of the year for everyone else. And they gave me a whole avocado, a piece of toast and a knife. It was like an Ikea breakfast. I had to <laughs> assemble it myself. I was like, what's this shit? And they're like, oh, we like to call that paddock to plate. We're part of the new paddock to plate movement. Yeah, well, how about I sit out in the paddock and eat my own shit? How about that? <laughs> I'll just be out in the paddock eating my own shit. I'll call it the new ass to mouth movement. How about that? <laughs> And then you go to pay. They always say the same thing. Uh, so, so what did you have? <laughs> What's this, a fucking memory test now? <laughs> you know how the waiter came over and he wrote down our order in a pad? We had everything that's written down in that pad. <laughs> if you find that pad, it will unlock the secrets as to what we ordered. <laughs> oh, hang on, I've remembered. We had a glass of water. <laughs> All seven of us. <laughs> Thanks, enjoy your night. Thank you.